Welcome back to Bottom Line at Front, the YouTube channel where we travel and go on adventures and sometimes do very short, silly things. And today's short, silly thing is about floating in the Dead Sea. And the bottom line on floating in the Dead Sea is that anyone can do it. Actually, there's more to it. There's some details you should know about, but we'll tell you everything in the video. Enjoy. We're at the Dead Sea and we're gonna go spread mud on our faces because that's what you do and then you get in the water and you float. And the best thing is Jimmy does not float, but I think he's gonna be able to float here. First thing you need to know about the Dead Sea is like it's not this like super nice beach like in the Caribbean, uh, mostly just a rocky beach. And there's only a couple public access points that we could even find that Maggie did the research on. The, your best bet is to book a stay at a hotel or a resort that has their own private access to the Dead Sea because it's not like you just go for a swim. There's certain precautions and procedures and things like that that we will tell you about. So we booked a room at the Marriott. We have to walk down all these stairs just to get to the Dead Sea. That's because the Dead Sea is the lowest point on Earth. No matter where you access it from, you're probably gonna be going down to get to it. If you go up to get to the Dead Sea, you need to call CNN and tell them you found somewhere lower than the Dead Sea. If you had to walk up to get to it. There are more rules to floating in the Dead Sea than I anticipated. We have a rule board here and it tells you all the different things and it says it's 8.6 times more salty than the ocean and then don't shave and then go into the water. Don't put your face in the water. Don't drink the water. And then rinse with fresh water after your experience is over. Another rule board tells you to wet your skin first, apply some mud, let it dry, and then wash it off in the sea. So I'm gonna do that. <laughs> Don't get it in your eyes, it really stings. Don't touch the bottom of the Dead Sea either because either there's a lot of salt buildup or some particles or what, but I've got a battle scar. If you're the kind of person that prefers to be clean and you wash your hands a lot, you may not enjoy this part, covering yourself with mud. I'm not sure how I feel about it to be honest. I think I'm a pretty clean person. Also, if you can cover your entire body mostly your back, using only your, your two hands, you have really great shoulder mobility. I'm doing my best here. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. I've, I've started my, my curing process. I'm waiting for the mud to dry and become a crusty thin layer on me and then I'll rinse it off in the Dead Sea. You're not allowed to put your face in the water. I mean, you're allowed to do what you want. They recommend don't put your face in the water, your head. I think because like the sensitive pores around your nose and your lips and your eyes and stuff, the salt would just like attack. So we're not gonna do that. Let it be known that Jimmy does not have the ability to float thus far in life. I think I can kind of nail it today, obviously. I'm floating. That's a really intelligent thing to say. I'm floating. My skin actually feels very smooth and just kind of nice in general. And these very lovely um, God rays are coming through the clouds. And that's just fun because like right over there is Israel and Jerusalem directly that direction. So it's neat. Some call them God rays and they're pretty. And Maggie floated and I got some fun photos of her. So it's just nice. It's a nice thing to do. so gosh darn beautiful with you. That wasn't for the camera, that's for you. As you're walking away from the Dead Sea, you just hear all the people down there going, oh my God, I'm floating, look at me float. Look how much I'm floating. And it's really funny, Maggie just pointed that out. Anyway, thanks for watching this short but silly video about floating in the Dead Sea. Okay, bye. <laughs> <laughs> okay, bye.